Masking in Lightroom is a great way to elevate your photography and make your photos really stand out. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you a hidden tool inside the masking panel that makes masking even better in Lightroom. And I'm gonna start right now. Now with every update Adobe releases for Lightroom Classic, the masking panel gets better and better. But what if I told you, you could actually use multiple masks inside one mask? Yes, that's right. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can intersect a mask with another mask in Lightroom. So let's take this photo here. I really like it. It's a photo I've recently taken in Grand Teton National Park. And what I wanna do is to create a nice kind of haze over on the left-hand side where the sun is appearing in the image. So what I would do is I go over to the masking panel, I drop down to my radial gradient. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a nice big gradient on the left-hand side of my image. Then all I'm gonna do is go to my exposure here and brighten it up. But the problem with doing so is it's actually affecting the shadow regions over here near the mountains. Now there's many ways we can get rid of that, but actually my favorite way is actually to intersect it with a sky mask. So with that mask selected, what we're gonna do is go into my mask menu, then we're gonna head down to intersect mask. And this is where you can select the mask you would like it to be intersected with. I'm gonna go ahead in this case is go ahead and select sky. What this will do is it will create a mask with inside the radial mask. As you can see, if I go ahead and show overlay, you can now see that this radial mask is no longer affecting the mountains, it's only affecting the sky. So as you can see, you can actually use multiple masks at the same time using the intersect mask tool inside Lightroom. Here is the before and here is the after. And if this particular tutorial helped you out, make sure to write it down in the comments below.